Once, upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. To some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this, nothing more. How distinctly I remember it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow. Vainly I had sought to borrow from my books surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and brilliant maiden whom the angels named Lenore, nameless here forevermore. Deep into that darkness peering. Long I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before, but the silence was unbroken. The stillness gave no tone. The only word I spoke of was the whispered word, Benoit. This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word, Benoit. Really is nothing more. Back into the chamber, turning all my soul to be burning soon again. I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something in my window like this. Let me see then what there at is in this mystery explore. But my heart is still a moment. This mystery explore is the moon, and nothing more. Open here, I flung the shut. When, with many a flur and flutter, in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not a feast of obeisance, maybe, not a minute stopped or stayed, but with mien of war, a lady perched above my chamber door, perched upon a bust of palace, just above my chamber door, perched and sat. Nothing more. Then, this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling, by the grave and stood the coral of the countenance of war. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art sure no craven, ghastly, grim, and ancient raven, wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore, quoth the raven. Nevermore. But the raven, sitting slowly on the pallet bust, spoke only that one word. As if his soul, in that one word, he did not pour. Nothing farther than he uttered, not a feather than he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered, other friends have flown before. On the morrow, he will leave me, as my hopes had flown before. Then, the bird said, Then we thought of the air grew dense and rough. Think of the heat of the prophet's suit, sir, as I swept my staff, and by that heavens we failed to fluff us. Prophet and God, I shall think of the evil prophets to have worse than devils. But I tell you, the sandwich will have sent us lost to hear a shot's possessed of the angels to the moon. One of the desert eyes and enchanted bodies, one is home in the horror of the heat of the tongue, and was lost to the Lord. Is there no one? Tell me. Tell me. Unbroken, quit the busters of my door. Take thy beak from out my heart, and take thy form from off my door, quoth the raven. For more, so the raven, never flitting, still, still, sitting, still, sitting, on the pallet of the palace, just above the chamber door. Unhappy master, his eyes on the perceiving, the deep mist in his dreams, the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. My soul, from out that shadow, lies floating on the floor, shall be lifted.